Tons of people have started million dollar businesses from their home without hiring any employees and there's no reason why you can't also. Elaine Porfeltz is a Forbes journalist. She covers online entrepreneurship and small businesses and she knows tons and tons of people who have started their own one person million dollar business. And she wrote a book about all of them detailing you know, how they did it and what their stories were and breaking down the principles so that you can do it too. So how do these people do it? How do they build and run million dollar businesses from their couches without hiring anybody? Well, two things. The first is that they usually pick something that they either have expertise in or a passion for. And second, they are absolutely ruthless about protecting their time. The book opens up by talking about Laszlo Nadler, who makes a living by selling these productivity planners. He was super nerdy about this stuff, even back when he worked in the, the corporate job. And he didn't like all the other productivity planners out there, so he was like, you know what, I'm just going to do this myself. Another case study is about these two people who had friends in Hawaii who grew this organic honey. And they were like, you know, nobody's selling this organic honey in the United States mainland. Why don't we sell it in the United States mainland? And they built a million dollar business off of it. There's another guy who worked in a security camera store for years and years. And then he was like, you know, I know all this stuff about security cameras, why don't I just start my own security camera business? If you've got anything like that in your life, then that might be a good thing to start a business around. You don't necessarily need to be really, really good at it right now, you just have to be passionate about it. And if you're passionate about it, then you'll learn pretty quickly. Whereas if you aren't passionate about it, then eventually you're going to hate it and you're going to be like, I hate running this business, I don't want to do this anymore, why did I sign up for this? Also keep in mind that like, yeah, you'll never be perfect, but your competitors aren't either. Your competitors are making tons and tons and tons of mistakes and if you know your market even a little bit better than them then you can wipe the floor with them. So if you want to start a business pick something that you're either super knowledgeable about already or that you're interested in and you'd want to learn more about and you'd enjoy dedicating your life to. Now the catch here is that th it has to be something that people actually want to buy right like you can't start a business around something that nobody wants to buy because you have to make money. If you want to start your own business and not hire anybody, then you have to do all the work. And that means you have to get it done pretty quickly, right? Because there's tons of stuff to do, and so you have to be efficient. This is especially important early in the business if you still aren't making enough money to make a living yet because you're probably going to want to work another 9 to 5 job. And so you have to squeeze your whole business into the hours in the day that you have free. What does being efficient with your time look like? Well, part of it is figuring out what's important and doing that and then not doing everything else. Especially in the early stages, you don't really want to make everything perfect. Just find the minimum viable version of what you're doing and then start doing it. You also want to automate pretty much every repetitive task that you can automate, right? You want to set up systems that do the work for you so that you don't even have to think about it. This also means that you're probably going to want to outsource a lot of stuff, right? So if you're manufacturing something, do you really want to manufacture it yourself and like make everything by hand? Um, do you want to ship every order by hand yourself? Probably not. So you should hire services to do that for you. Same thing with marketing, same thing with customer service, same thing with accounting. Usually the best move is to pick one thing that you're really good at and do that and then also handle like the managerial stuff in the business and then outsource all the other tasks. Starting a business like this isn't that easy, right? Like you have to have startup capital and you have to be willing to lose that startup capital. You have to put tons of time and effort in and you have to solve every little problem that comes up. And even if you do everything perfectly, something random can happen and totally wipe out your business. But if you pull it off, then your life is gonna be kind of awesome, right? Like you don't have to call your boss and ask for a day off work when you wanna hang out with your family. You can just do it. You can be like, hey, you know, we're going to the water park today and you don't have to beg your boss for a raise when your skills go up, you don't have to you know, sit through an annual performance review and say like, hey, I did really well, can you pay me more money? If your skills increase, then you get paid more. That's the nature of it. You also do work that's personally meaningful to you. There aren't a ton of entrepreneurship books that are really, really useful for total beginners, right? Like most entrepreneurship books are about advanced subjects and you have to understand them well to know what's being talked about. Um, the one million dollar one person business doesn't have that problem. If you're a total newbie to business, you have no idea what to do, but you want to get started, then this is the book for you. So thanks for checking out Theo's Book Club. If you're new around here, this is where I make brief videos about the books that I read so that you can learn everything that I learned and so you can decide which books you want to read for yourself. If you like this video, I hope you'll do me a big favor. Go down right there and hit the like button that tells YouTube, hey, this is a good video. We should put it in more people's feeds. You can also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of these book review videos popping up in your feed instead of like cat videos or whatever, whatever you watch. And until next time, go build your passion and have a great day.